In 2011, I got my first cell phone, the LG 100C, right here. Just a simple, basic track phone device. But since then, I've gone through three more cell phones, and I'm now currently using the Google Nexus 4 smartphone. So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, each of these phones and uh, going over my brief cell phone history with you guys. So, uh, stay tuned for the video. So, in 2011, I really wanted a smartphone. I was in middle school, and all of the kids there had cell phones, and I was kind of a loner and outcast because I didn't have a cell phone. So, I went up to my mom, and I asked her, can I have a cell phone? She said yes, and she went to Walmart and picked up the cheapest phone that they had, which is right here, the LG 100C. Of course, at the time, I didn't know what kinds of of uh, cell phones were out there. I didn't know how good they were, so I thought that this was a really, you know, high quality cell phone at the time. Obviously that's not the case, but anyway, I still really liked this cell phone. It was, at the time, it served all my needs. I could text on it, I could call on it, there were even a few games. Um, it was just simple track phones, so the bill was cheap. And overall, this is just a really good phone. Um, but uh, I did eventually got, get tired of it, so um, I got a new phone uh, because it was just very difficult to text using this numeric keypad and just overall I just got tired of the phone. So Then I got this, the LG 231C. So this phone was actually handed down for me. This is actually a hand-me-down phone. And... Uh, it was my first and only flip phone, because at the time that I got this, flip phone was kind of all the rage. And, um, so yeah, I thought this was even cooler than my previous phone, because... Oh, look at that, it flips open. Wow, I was pretty amazed at the time. Again, this was still in middle school. And, uh, texting was so very hard with this numeric keypad, and, uh, I did like that the screen was bigger and it had more features, uh, but... I didn't have this phone for long, and I got tired of it again, so got rid of this phone and moved on to my first real smartphone. And uh, I say smartphone very lightly there, because this is technically not a smartphone, but uh, at the time it seemed like a smartphone. So I was just at Walmart, just browsing through the phone section one day, and I came across this phone, the LG 800G. And uh, I said to myself, I have to have that phone. It's a touch screen. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, so I got it. This was my first really expensive phone. I think I paid $50 for this out of my own pocket. And uh, yeah, I used this phone for the longest. It is longer than I've used any other phone. Um, I enjoyed it. It was relatively easy to text on, call on, it had a touch screen, it had a quality, fairly quality camera. Quality compared to the 1.3 megapixel, or excuse me, VGA lens on the 231C. This had a 2 megapixel camera, so I was taking pictures left and right. And, uh, yeah, so I used this phone for two years. And then, LG and TrackPhone came out with this, the LG 840G. Um, so I was getting a little bit tired of the kind of crappy, resistive, hard-to-use touchscreen on the LG 800G. Um, so I decided to step up to the LG A40G with a nice, easy-to-use capacitive touchscreen. Um, so this was another expensive, r relatively expensive phone of mine. This was $60. Again, these are all track phone. Um, so the bill was not very expensive. Um, but this one I was... I'm, I was very happy with this phone, and I'm still happy with it. It had plenty of features. I could text easily on it, call easily. It got pretty good reception, good build quality. Again, a pretty nice camera on it. Overall, just a really good overall phone for me at the time. And, uh, 
you know, as the theme continues, I got tired of that phone a little bit, and I actually wanted to, you know, get a smartphone. You know, smartphones had been out uh, for a while uh, at the time that I had this phone, so I figured, you know, why don't I find a nice smartphone to use? Because at the time I had this phone, I also had an iPod Touch, um, so I kind of wanted to just get rid of the two devices. I just wanted to have one device that did both things, one that was kind of a smart device, and a cell phone in one, so that was a smartphone. So, I did a bunch of research, and about a year ago, I purchased my Google Nexus 4. And this was my first really very, very large purchase. This was $250, paid out of my own pocket. And, uh, I had a smartphone, and I've been using this smartphone ever since on Straight Talk, since this phone is unlocked. And I've enjoyed this. I mean... Compared to these four phones, this has a ton of features, and it's a smartphone, which is something that, you know, I'd wanted for a while when I had these phones. So, yeah. That's my relatively brief phone history. Uh, from the LG 100C to the LG 231C, LG 800G, LG 840G, all track phones to finally the LG Google Nexus 4 which was which is on Stray Talk. Oh hey, that's kind of weird. I noticed that this all the all five of these phones are all LG phones. I didn't do that on purpose. I guess it's just kind of how things ended up. Um, but anyway, that's my brief phone history. Uh, if you have any questions, uh just leave them in the comments and uh Check out my website, uh, mobiletechnologyreviews.weebly.com. You can read uh, my written reviews of these phones and uh, you know check out various things on my website. So head on over there. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for putting up with me. And uh, catch you guys. See you in the next one.